this is how I fix the mice. And I wanted to point some stuff out about uh, this dematization and the censorship that's going on and uh, different social media platforms and Google and all that. There are a number of misconceptions here that people don't seem to understand. First of all, Jordan E. posts on October 26th. This is on the uh, YouTube help forum. I uh, posted on it trying to get say, you know, why am I being blocked from getting views? And uh, they have not replied. And I also posted on some other stuff. In August, we launched a new monetization icons and appeals process so you'll have more transparency into how each and every video on your channel is monetizing. I mean, de being demonetized. The system uses the machine learning to apply a green icon, fully monetized, or yellow icon, limited or no ads to your videos and officers. Use the ability to appeal if you think the video is misclassified. Well, I can't appeal because they blocked me from getting views. You have to have a thousand or more views in a week. Appeals receive a human review and these decisions help the system get smarter over time. Since August, over a million human reviews have helped train and improve this technology and today, we're releasing an important update that will result in fewer misclassifications overall. As a result, there will be a 30% reduction in the number of videos receiving limited ads as we move to being fully monetized. In other words, millions more videos will become fully monetized. And she goes on and this is... I did notice a change, I have to admit it. Uh, and I think some of my videos, a few of them did get remonetized, but uh, the last three I did got demonetized. Uh, today's performance improvement update was only possible because of the feedback you gave to some to the appeals process, which I can't do because they won't allow me to have any traffic. So, what is this about? Well, I've said this before, it's about censorship. But there's uh, more points here, and you really need to watch this video and then pass it along because there's other points here that are going on. And I will get to the point it's about cell phones. <laughs> You're not going to like what you he want to hear. Astro Auto Repairs uh, says, I did respond to this individual. While wow, there's a lot of pe upset people, but for those of you who are focusing on the bugs in the program, you should be focusing on the good it has done, which means censorship. Uh, this person could be... Uh, posting from North Korea or uh, Iran or some uh, tyranny like that to get platform fun, entertaining, and safe for people of all ages. Meaning, shut out the uh, conservatives. Yep, some of our videos get the yell sign, but they do come off once we appeal it. Yeah, faith in the system will work out, it just takes a little time. In the end, your channels will really grow because the bad stuff on YouTube will be gone. Which means nobody will be able to communicate, which is what this is all about. You won't be able to communicate any type of information that's worth anything. Right? That's phase one. Like I said, I've heard this type of rhetoric like you're hearing from Astro Auto Repairs here. I've heard that before. It's this type of rhetoric usually comes from dictators, basically. Dictators are shut off, make everybody safe by uh, preventing them from saying anything that 
they uh, don't want them to hear, don't want them to say, except, of course, when they agree with the dictator. Anyway, natural repairs and natural auto repairs did not get back to me. This is only phase one. So, what is Artifact's point here? We know about the demonetization. We know that conservatives mainly are being censored. There have been some liberals who have gotten burned, from what I understand. But. Mostly they're just lying there, uh, it's mostly shut up the little people while the, uh, big corporate sites, uh, get a pass. Well, I got thinking about this, and there's a problem. This isn't just going to be on social media. Now, let me explain. I mentioned some misconceptions. One misconception... What I keep hearing is that uh, these are private companies. That is incorrect. They're public companies. They uh, put out public stock, and people buy the stock. They're not private companies at all. They're public. That's number one. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to uh, the next point, is that uh, uh, so you think that your cell phones are safe? This is my main point here. They're not safe at all from this. But artifacts, I pay for it. Well, yeah, you pay for Google and uh, YouTube. They're not free. You pay for them one way or the other. It may not be directly, but uh, this actually was my second point. You pay for them directly. Possibly. Uh, when you buy stuff. But even if you. Uh, don't pay for anything directly. You're still paying through. These uh, companies. Ads and that type of thing. You buy things from companies. And these companies pay Google. It all comes around. That's actually my second point. So misconception is. Uh. These are free. They're not. The third thing is that you are, when you upload a video, if it's your own stuff, you're uploading uh, your intellectual capital, like this video. This is intellectual capital that I'm uploading. Alright? It has an inherent value. And what YouTube is doing is they're saying, for most of these videos, they don't have any inherent value, and yet, uh, some girl can, uh, do a video about lookbook or something, they get 1.7 million views. So obviously they value that, and they don't value political discussion, because they censor it. So YouTube is putting a value, an arbitrary value, on different videos. This is called the intellectual capital. So what does this have to do with cell phones? Well, if you think your cell phone is safe, I got news for you. Let's say, now what do people use cell phones for today? They use them for internet, obviously. They use them for texting. And texting I got news for you, could be censored. I haven't heard any, anything specific on this or what have you, but once that message leaves your uh, cell phone, do you know where it goes? This goes for voice too, because I heard uh, Tyler on Secure Team 10, Tyler was saying that, and he's right. They can take a sample of your voice. They only need a minute of your voice. So you would be sitting there on the phone for five minutes talking to your bud, and they have your voice print, and they can actually create voice based on uh, what you want to hear. 
That's how good the computer technology is. Of course, you can always change text and stuff, and that's what my point here is. But artifacts, these companies wouldn't do that. Oh no. Well, we already see what YouTube's doing, and Twitter's censoring people. Twitter took down the president's uh, account for a short time. So people started objecting. Does each player's carrier own their own cell towers, or do they share it? In the United States, carriers have effectively exited the tower business. Most sold their towers to companies like American Tower, Crown Castle. All these companies construct, maintain, and operate towers, and use the space to carriers. So, you send your text message out to these. Uh, you send your text message outside of your phone. And you know, it's this tower, what's in the tower? Computers, among other things. You have no way of knowing whether that text message has been changed uh, to something that pleases the elites. This is my point. The other fact, they wouldn't do that. Th these people, that, that, and they're just passing it on, but we send them. What you send them? Your text messages are safe, they wouldn't censor them. I got news for you. If they would do this stuff to uh, the videos, they'll do it to your text messages. Well, in that case, I think what they would do is might send a text message out uh, that is not favorable to some politician and Na na namely a Democrat, usually. And they might just alter a few words, and you wouldn't even know this happened. So, uh, it's more favorable to that politician. You think that couldn't happen? You think they couldn't censor your uh, videos altogether? These are not private companies. These, these usually are public companies. But the whole point here is, once that text message leaves your phone, or even your voice, for that matter, once it's out of there, it's on its way. It's on its way to the tower, and your carrier doesn't know, doesn't have any more control over it. Which means whoever's running the towers could, in theory, change these, please a certain political event, for instance, or suppress information, like, uh, if there's a mass shooting, they might, uh, suppress information on second shooter, that kind of thing. This is why this crap has got to be stopped. These companies, these public corporations have got to be reined in. If we don't, <laughs> you're not going to be able to communicate Unless you do it with pencil and paper. Duh! That's my point. Uh, that's about it for now. I haven't heard anything specific or anything like that. But what goes around comes around. If we allow these public corporations, like Google, to continue with the censorship, your cell phone is next. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I approve this message. Thanks for watching.